Hey everybody, welcome back. Now a couple months ago I did a lesson here on YouTube on how to play the guitar solo from the classic Van Halen song, Ice Cream Man. And that solo contains probably the most iconic wide stretch lick that Eddie Van Halen put on record, where he's basically stretching from the 12th fret to the 19th fret and working his way down the fretboard. And for a lot of people, they struggle with that. I got quite a few comments from people saying I couldn't do the stretch, give me some help, give me some help. So I thought I'd come back and do a video to give you some tips and advice on how to pull that off. It's not as difficult as it looks, and I think you'll find that if you do these very basic techniques, you'll get it down sooner than you think. All right, let's go ahead and jump on into it. All right, so I'm gonna play the iconic Ice Cream Man wide stretch lick for you, both uh, normal speed and slow speed. Okay, so the first thing I want to explain here is the real trick to being able to do this wide stretch comfortably. First, I want you to try this. We're going to do a little exercise. You're going to play the 12th fret of the high E, followed by the 19th fret, and then repeat on each string moving down to the E string, okay, like this. And do this while you're standing up in normal standing position, okay? Notice how I'm leaning over? <laughs> I started out standing up straight, but as I started working my way down the strings, I found myself having to lean over in order to be more comfortable. That's not what you wanna do. That's not good for your back, it's not good posture, it's just not good technique, okay? Not good form. Um, here's the trick, okay? This is the primary thing you need to learn. In order to pull this off more comfortably, you need to get your fretting hand up closer to your chest. That's what Eddie would do, and I'm going to show you in a few examples here how he would do that, including a couple of live clips of Eddie performing it that way. All right? You want to get your fretting hand up toward your chest. Okay? Now, watch this. I'm going to put my foot up here on this chair so that I can lean the guitar on my knee and bring my body in closer. So now my fretting hand is closer to my chest. Now watch when I do that same exercise. Much more comfortable. Now the first way that I want to show you how Eddie would do this is basically to prop the guitar up on your leg, okay? So look at this footage here of him from the uh, 1983 US Festival. He's basically got it propped up on the side of his leg like this. Okay? And then here's more footage of him from uh, one of the more recent tours where he's got it also propped on his leg but kind of more like on his inner thigh groin area, okay? Okay, got it positioned here somewhere on his leg, all right? That's one way to get it up closer toward your chest. Now another way to do this, and actually I got the idea on how to do this from Dimebag Daryl, who as many of you know was a huge Van Halen fan, and he would do like, for example, in the Cowboys from Hell solo, and I talked about this when I did the Cowboys from Hell uh, solo tutorial, uh, he would actually find somewhere to put his, his leg up on. Like I've got it up on a chair right now, okay? And, and you saw me do this earlier in the video. You've got the, your fretting hand up closer toward your chest by, by bringing the guitar up, okay? And I'm using my knee to hold it up. So Dimebag, for example, he might actually just get down on one knee. Here's, a, here's actually a video of Eddie doing that, getting down on one knee. Um, or you could put your leg up on a monitor or something else that happens to be on stage with you. And then I guess another option you could consider is just finding a place on stage where you can sit. Now that might not be realistic, but for example, a lot of times you'll see Eddie, especially when he does the eruption solo, he'll go sit on Alex's drum riser, right? It's a very convenient place to sit on the stage and it just sets him up so he's much more comfortable when he wants to start doing some of his wide stretch licks um, during the eruption extended solo. So consider that too. Now if you're still struggling with this and you can't do the stretches, you want to ease your way into it, okay? Think of it like, uh, like weight lifting or weight training. You know, you're not going to start off you know, squatting 400 pounds. You're going to start with something moderate and then work your way up over time. Think of the stretches in the same way. So you want to start off by practicing a very mild stretch, like 12th to 17th fret, okay? 
and work your way down the strings, 12 to 17. And then back up. Okay? And, and as soon as you feel like you're comfortable with that amount of stretch, try adding one more fret in there, this time going from 12 to 18. And eventually, you'll work your way up to where you can do the 12 to 19 stretch. Okay? So a little at a time, and over time, you'll find that you'll eventually get it to where you can start stretching pretty far. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you aren't already. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I will attempt to answer them as time allows. Until next time, rock on.